Hi, Zach Pater here at River Valley Marine in Red Wing, Minnesota. What an absolutely beautiful boat to take you through today. This here is a 96 Carver 355 aft cabin. One of Carver's most popular boats and there's a lot of reasons why. So let's just start at the outside and I think the most noticeable deal on the 355 is the big swim platform. Beautiful place to store your fenders. You'll notice back here you've got shore water and he's actually got a brand new system there. You also have the molded in steps. Those really kind of set the boat apart compared to others. This particular boat, we got a lot of neat things to take you through. In particular, all that beautiful canvas going around this boat with the screens. Absolutely awesome. I apologize for the wind out here today. Take a walk down the side of this boat. Notice it's not all scuffed up. There's no scratches. The boat is shiny. It's nice. This was a Midwest freshwater boat since new here in Minnesota. Beautiful big windows, nice stainless grab rails. Look at those catwalks on the 355. They're very nice in size. They got a lipped edge on them as well, so that way it keeps the water flowing backwards. Just a very good looking setup. You also notice it's got the uh, additional bar going through the middle of the rails, just gives it extra support. Uh, bow sun pads are not mounted, but they are in the boat, uh, set up front there. You also got a windless anchor, your remote spotlight. Very, very nice looking 355. Again, that good looking canvas enclosure. You do have a cover for the front window. And I think it's time to jump on board. Alright, so we are out of the wind and welcome aboard the 355 here. Beautiful new furnishings in the back of the boat. Nice big area rug. Lots of space in the cockpit of the 355, or I should say the aft deck area. Also, the new canvas back here has just been installed. You'll notice they did all the screens all the way around. It's also got the ability to be rolled up. To get to the bow of the boat, you've got side wing doors. There is a wet bar back here as well side wing doors again on that side probably noticed from the photos but you got a full hard top in the back work our way onto the bridge and you've got again molded steps much like the platform taking you right up into the bridge area exceptionally clean and very very attractive looking um, overall setup here nice big bench seating the carver captain's chair in front of that, you've got the full bench in front. Again, all these seats are in amazing condition. Same with the seats up here. No rips or tears. Nothing to that effect. Just very, very well kept. And again, the dash is generally speaking in very good condition. Updated Raymarine depth finder. Might be hard to read. 840 hours on the boat just a good looking bridge work our way look out the front again that nice big flat bow and again the canvas up here is nice um, no screens up here necessarily but you can unzip the sides and the front and roll them up to let good airflow through here um, if you don't choose to take the canvas down while you're out cruising all right so let's take a look down in the cabin all right, so this here has got to be where the 355 really comes to life. The cabin space for a 35-foot boat is absolutely incredible. You have a lot of lighting, huge windows. They got the covers over the front windows. When those covers are off, the amount of natural light just floods this interior. Beautiful woodwork in the boat. Very nice carpeting. You can see they did updated recliners off to the uh, port side here which fit very well in the boat. It does have the ability to have, uh, you can drive from down below if you'd like, things like windshield wipers and things to that effect. Your main power distribution panel, nice and easy to get to. The vances were all redone, they look very nice. Again, no window leaks or anything to that effect. They did put in a new flat screen TV. It is a smart TV, a chair that you can pull out there. Work your way forward, big dinette that can convert into a sleeping area. 
You'll notice the lights up above were all redone in LEDs, so they're nice and bright. They stay cool to the touch, and they don't use a lot of power. Work our way down into the galley area, and all the new flooring that he did is phenomenal. That looks really, really sharp in this boat. Work our way into the galley, and you'll notice a nice stainless sink. They did put a brand new faucet on. You've got a coffee maker, 110, 12 volt refrigerator. The refrigerator was updated, but we're not exactly sure what year it was. Uh, best guess is in the 2010 area. Uh, microwave with, this is kind of cool, a pull out toaster. Flip it down, and it's got a toaster built in. Kind of a neat little deal. Below that, you've got your stove with the oven. And if you look at it, it is very, very clean. I don't, really don't think it was used much because it is very, very nice looking. But it uh, very, works very good and nice little setup. Work our way into the forward stateroom. I think it's uh, probably noticeable the amount of headroom that you have. Nice lighting up above against the uh, nice headliner all around. There is a TV with a built-in DVD player. It's kind of cool how they did this. You've got the main bed, but then you also have like a side bunk bed. You can see the uh, cushions there for up on the bow. But that is a very creative and very nice forward stateroom in this 355. From there, we'll focus over here before we head to the aft of the boat. Take a look at the, uh, the head here, the main head, the day head. You got vacuum flush here, nice towel bar. See all the good looking lighting going around, big mirror, stainless steel sink, nice vanity, just a good looking overall forward head. We'll work our way to the aft cabin here. Welcome aboard, nice little sign there. It's a very big, very nice opening. You have a stainless grab handle there for when you go down the steps and you enter into the aft cabin. The aft cabin again, lots of natural light, and then they do have the blinds, lots of headroom. I am 6'1", and I got 5, 6 inches above my head. Lots of drawers and cabinets, things to that effect. Just a lot of room, and it's clean, and the headliner is very clean. You have some storage, air conditioning back here, and heat, hanging closets, and of course you have your own head. The head, again, vacuum flush toilet, towel bar, stainless sink, very nice lighting, and take a look at the shower. Just a very cool glass doored shower with the seat in there, nice flooring, easy to keep clean, just a very sharp looking setup on this 355. So commonly when I end my videos, I go back outside, but with the wind today, we are going to stay inside. And I just want to say thank you for your time. Thank you for watching our videos here. If you have any questions on this 355 or would like to set up a time to view, again, my name is Zach Pater here at River Valley Marine in Red Wing, Minnesota. And I appreciate you taking the time to view our video. And I hope you have a great day.